Second activity, application of standard cell potential. For example, the reaction between hydrogen, gas and copper ion. E not value for this reaction is positive 0.34 volt. The positive E not value indicate that this reaction is feasible. This is true from the energy point of view. Okay, you can see if positive. When E not value is positive, the reaction is feasible or spontaneous energetically. In actual fact, when hydrogen gas is passed through a solution of copper to sulfate, nothing seems to happen. The rate of the reaction is a zero and the reaction is said to be non-spontaneous kinetically. What is the meaning of these two terms? One is energetically, another one is kinetically. Okay. As you know, for chemical reaction, we explain use energetic process. But for physical movement, we dis uh, describe as a kinetic, a spontaneous. Okay. What you can see is called it kinetic, but actually what happened the during the chemical reaction we call it energetic that we cannot see. Okay, now look at another example for second equation E not negative. Uh, negative 0 0.13 volt. When E not is negative, the ratio is not non feasible or non spontaneous energetically. Okay, what does this tell you about the feasibility of this this ratio? The ratio is not energetically feasible. When concentration of ACF is added and the mixture heated, an oxidation reaction can occur and the chlorine gas is produced. What can you infer from, from this? The negative value of E0 for this reaction only indicates that manganese dioxide cannot oxidize hydrochloric acid under standard condition. Okay, for example, one more prism cubic at 290 Kelvin. The reaction might be feasible under other conditions. For example, in this case, we use concentrated acid. The table above shows the standard reduction potential, data of the ion of the element, vanadium, Use the data given to predict whether reaction 1, 2, 3 can occur. Okay. Here you can see a few data of E0 value uh, from different oxidation state. Plus 5, plus 4, plus 3 and plus 2. Okay. From what we learned before, E0 value is equal E0 cathode minus E0 anode. We need to identify either direction can occur from E0 value. If the value is positive, we can take that direction can occur. But if the value of E0 is negative, you can say direction cannot occur. Look for the first one, first equation, zinc to zinc to plus. 
That means zinc will undergo oxidation. And then VO2 plus to form VO2 plus, this will undergo reduction. Okay. From the equation E not value, my E is equal E not cathode minus E not anode. Okay. You can write anode, uh, how to remember where the oxidation occur and where the reduction occur. Uh, you remember anox, A and O X. Anode occur oxidation. Cathode, cat red. Cathode occur reduction. Okay. Anode oxidation, that's mean. Okay. Uh, anode. Zinc will be anode. And VO2 plus will be cathode. Okay. The value of cathode is 1 for 1 0 0 volt. Minus, minus 0 0.76. That means the value is equal 1, positive 1.76 uh, volt. Okay. Direction can be occur because A not value become positive. For se uh, second equation, zinc to zinc 2 plus oxidation, VO2 plus to V3 plus is a reduction. Okay. Same. This is a uh, oxidation uh, and not it's a cathode. Okay, cathode positive 0 0.34 minus minus 0 0.76 0 0.34 0 0.76 uh, positive 1 for 1 volt. Okay. Okay. How about the last one? Zinc to zinc 2 plus oxidation. V3 plus to V2 plus. V3 plus to V2. Negative 0 0.26. And negative 0 0.76. Okay. Negative. 0 0.26 minus negative 0 0.76 okay that is positive 0 0.5 also positive that means direction can up okay the picture above contains a solution of ammonium vanadic 5 and dilute sulfur acid. Predict the color changes that you would observe if zinc is added to the mixture. Okay, we add a zinc from yellow. This a yellow. Uh, oxidation 5. Okay, it turn blue. Okay, it turn blue from VO2 plus VO. 2 plus okay blue to green and last we last green to violet okay next uh, the stability of uh, echoes ion from E not value okay you can see the first uh, function of E not value we already learned we can know either direction can occur or not. If the E not value is positive, direction can occur. If the value of E not uh, E not uh, value is negative, direction cannot occur. The second uh, application of standard uh, cell potential: stability of aqueous ion from E not value. You can predict either the echo solution is stable or not. Now look the first one. Okay, E not value is positive. Okay, Cr3 plus is more 
stable than Cr2 plus. Okay, this is Cr2 plus and it's Cr3 plus. What mean from this statement? This is written, it's a product. In, if E not value positive, the product is more stable compared to the reactant. Okay, the value of E not for the reaction is positive. This implies that the reaction between aqueous Cr2 plus ion and acid to give aqueous Cr3 plus ion and hydrogen gas is spontaneous reaction. The value of E not of the reaction also imply that Cr3 plus ion is more stable than Cr2 plus ion. Look at another example. Okay. CO3 plus to CO2 plus. The E not value is also positive. That means CO2 plus, a product, is more stable than CO3 plus. Last example. Is a complex yeah? CO and H3 6 3 plus from CO and H3 6 2 plus in a value negative. In this case, yeah, in ammonium complex form CO3 plus ion is more stable than CO2 plus ion. Okay, this pattern more stable compare this product. The positive in the value of reaction 2 indicate that the aqueous CO2 plus ion is more stable than aqueous CO3 plus ion. The negative in the value of reaction 3 show that in ammonium complex, the CO3 plus ion is more stable than CO2 plus ion. Therefore, complex formation is a convenient way to stabilize an oxidation state, which is otherwise unstable in aqueous solution.